the curve from the median from yesterday from long lost decay the curve the charity wants to help Claire please have a think on it Claire I've also gone through what you have, but I came out the other side. Worth it. And I'll be back same time tomorrow. me again from long lost UK. Can I come in? I'm only here to offer help. The charity wants to help. I'm James. Can I come in? So, you like painting? 234. Sorry? Uh, 234 is one for every week that has been away. Do you leave the house, You much? said you could help. Now, I've never heard of your charity, but um, you're the first person I've let inside the house since the police gave up. So, how can you help? Of course. Um, there aren't many parents who find themselves in your situation. So we've formed a free and focused counselling plan, as well as providing company, which... <laughs> Thank you, James. Well, it's going to take a lot more than some company and, and a chit-chat. A, a lot more. I mean, look, I appreciate you coming, but I think I'd like you I've to I've been leave. where you are, Claire. I've felt it too. The pitch blackness. But I swallowed it down whole. I mean, it's still there, in the pit of my stomach, but it's not in here. Not anymore. It's hope I'm offering, not chit-chat. It was. Yes. Lily. Yes. When does it get better? You're exhausted, Claire. Um, look, let's try something. Put your palms out like this. Hmm? Now, straighten your spine. Release your shoulders. And close your eyes. There. Now, I'm gently going to put some pressure on your palms, and I want you to breathe in. And hold over four. And breathe out over four. You're going to be all right, Claire. We'll continue with some of these exercises together and eventually chat things through. You are going to be okay.
Thank you. Who likes us rolls? <laughs> I've been trying to eat less meat. I doubt there's much meat in these. Can't afford the posh kind. So, have you always been a painter? Um, not really. So why all the painting? It helps. Paint speaks the words. Too painful to say. And the thoughts too painful to think. So, what new exercise are we going to do today, Guru? Claire, it's not good to hold on to these things. I'll still wear it. It wouldn't even fit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's best I take this, okay? No, I prefer you didn't. No, Claire, we've got... I said got... I prefer you didn't. Look, our first stage was to calm. The next stage is to accept. In the charity handbook, we talk about it like this. Between every two people that know each other, there's a piece of string that connects them. The closer those people are, the thicker the bond. So some are barely hanging by a thread. Me and Lily, we... It was like steel. And trust me, you're gonna need all your strength, every little ounce you've got to break that bond. And you've got to break it because only then can you start again when you have accepted that he's not lost, that he's gone for good. Jack's not gone. It's been over four years. He's not gone. He is gone. God, when the police called it a day on Lily, I promised myself they were wrong. Accepting is the hardest part, but that's when it starts to get better. In answer to your first question all those weeks ago, that's when... You gave up on your own daughter. I came to terms with it because I had to. I'd locked that door shut. I don't know how you live with yourself. Well, exactly. I'm living. I'm here, living. And I just don't think you can say the same. Get out. Exactly what happened that night. Don't. No, you need to. Do you want to know why I don't leave this house? Or why no one else is allowed in? Because that one night I left, that one time someone else came in, my life became what it is now. That fucking front door haunts me. I wish I could just wall it up. No door, no letterbox, no leaving ever. So that is why all the windows, all the doors, they stay shut, always. Why are you here? I mean, I mean, seriously, why are you here? Because I know that if you never walk through that front door again, then in the not too distant future, you are going to die in this house, the unhappiest person in the world. I know that for a fact, because that person was nearly me. Oh. You can't talk about that night. I don't need to! I slept last night for 10 hours. I haven't slept that long in, I don't know. I'm doing it already, me, okay? By myself. So fuck off out my house. Fuck off the other side of the door. And don't you dare be as arrogant to think otherwise. I don't need your help. Okay. No.
Again. This wasn't in your charity handbook. <laughs> Funny how we always trust a charity. Hmm? If a stranger knocks on your door, no one's going to let him in. Who knows what he'd do? But a charity worker? Because, um, well, it's not the grief you need any help with, is it? It's the guilt gnawing away at you. Stop. Uh, no. No, I won't fucking stop. Because uh, it was you who left that door open. Hmm? It was you that went on that run thinking the radio would be enough. Yeah? It was you that left your own son by himself. Did you know the radio was on? <laughs> I can't imagine how that feels. Yeah, I'd fucking kill myself. Mm, you know exactly how that feels. Oh. Exactly. You and Lily. Lily. Oh. <laughs> oh, you lap it up, don't you? Long lost UK. And a photo. <laughs> you twisted. And now he's dead and you're Fucked still up. here painting he's sad, dead. pretty pictures with nothing but two guilt to kill you. Yes, he is. And if you opened your letters, you'd know. Hmm? 
all those black envelopes you never open. Too painful to say. I don't need to! But it's not in here. When does it get better? I'm gently going to put some pressure on your palms. <laughs> 